Alright, hello, welcome to some Urgot gameplay. This was a game I played, I think yesterday or the day before. Uh, I thought it was just a really good game to maybe showcase. Uh, obviously, mistakes, right? Uh, I think that's a good thing to actually like not avoid is to keep your mistakes. Don't just have like a perfect game or like a pop-off game. Like obviously those have their, their own kinds of value, but like uh, working from behind or like working from... Uh, kind of inting your lane or whatever. I think that's very very useful information that maybe will be useful to uh, some people watching this maybe uh, Or if you're just here to listen to me talk about uh, nothing, then that's also pretty good uh, As well, but yeah, I've been playing ergot on this account uh, Been really enjoying ergot. He's really good right now apparently um he has like a 54% win rate in like plat plus. I don't know about low elo, but he's definitely uh, one of those picks that are that are like pretty scary. Even if he's still like just behind a little bit, he's still very scary, especially with his ult, uh, the execute. Uh, some people uh, underestimate it quite a lot, and then you know, basically in any kind of team fight. Someone's gonna get low, right? And maybe that execute will come in clutch. It's game, uh, team fight turning, game winning. I don't know. I don't know how else to say it. But here I am uh, against an Orn. Uh, I will show my runes. Runes are on the bottom left. I'll put them in the description along with my build, uh, as I do with basically every video. Uh, yeah. What's it called? Um. I thought this was a solid game. Uh, I do absolutely mess up in just a little bit, I think. I think I die to Ornn uh, first, and then, it, and then it doesn't go downhill, right? It doesn't go downhill, I just uh, I just got too cocky, right? I was like, oh, it, Ornn's a tank, you know? Ornn does a lot of damage, all right? His W does like max HP damage with the, the, the burn plus like the, the forge proc or whatever, where he bonks you over the head. And tells you to, you know, don't don't take 200 pass and go or something, uh, something like that. But basically, I, I shouldn't have been in this situation uh, at that at that time uh, where I died. Uh, so that that'll happen in a bit. But uh, at, for builds, right? For builds for Urgot, I go Titanic first. Um, the reason for this is that I feel that. Stridebreaker, while like really good early, um, Titanic's more fun. You know, you get to clear the wave, you get to farm better. I don't know if you're running coal on Urgot, if you're into like tanks, or uh, or, or if um, you know you're doing some some other stuff. But I I like going for the the TM at first. I think it's really nice to have, uh, at least early, cause like. Even if you can't uh, fight someone, right? The Stride Breaker takes a little bit, but like you get the the Tiamat passive, and the, I don't know. I, I really I I, I prefer it. Uh, I, I don't know if there's a, a different uh, mythic that you go other than Stride Breaker and Frostfire Gauntlet. Uh, those are the only two that I really go for. I think you could go for like Prowlers, right? If you're if you're into like a really squishy comp where you can just kind of Two tap someone, uh, you could probably go. I, I, I hate Divine Sunderer now. He, um, so I, I don't think you'd ever go Divine unless you're against like Maokai, maybe? Maybe Maokai? I don't know. Yeah, here I am taking a really bad fight. He has ult as well, so I just get bonked and I die. Very unfortunate. But. That's not what we're here for, okay? We're here to... Oh, God. That is really weird looking. Anyways. Um, Shake was here to gank. Uh, gank as... Um, gank, right? Gank. I, I don't know why, but, like, if you look... he All he had was uh, the Iron Spike Whip, and he was trying to find an Orn who had Bramble vest and uh, i don't know i'm just, uh, just don't think about it you know just don't think about these things uh this is like kind of a painful early game just because like i screwed up really bad and like died 
I think I came back later, which is more than enough. I did my job, right? Miss a CS there. Uh, we're matching CS with Orn. Uh, we're not going to be, though, very soon because he's going to get that entire wave. Uh, but yeah, just try to farm. I go for Titanic into Stridebreaker into like Black Cleaver if they're if they're stacking a little bit of armor or HP or um what's that other item called? I don't know anything anymore. I don't know what's going on anymore. I think that's the main thing. I don't know what the heck is going on, right? Or Orn stays for way too long. He's half HP, perfect time to try to get an execute on him. So I do. I get and get and get a kill. Uh, I think it was a shutdown as well. Uh, and uh, now we just clear the wave, farm, farm, farm. All right, we're here to farm. Uh, there's a wicked video. Wicked, like the the former pro or whatever, um, where he talks about autoing once and then doing three ticks of your W, and then autoing and for for towers. We're taking towers because apparently that maximizes your your damage. I don't know anything about that. Uh, I'm not really familiar with Urgot all that much. I'm just playing him because I thought it was really funny. And also, he's really good right now. Uh, if you want to pick him up, I recommend checking out that video. Uh, please remind me to link it. I'll probably remember. But if I don't, someone yell at me. Yeah? Uh, for whatever reason, this guy's chasing me. I don't know. Bleh. Bleh. And then I just die. Yeah. And then uh, Shaco is here. Um. I, let's let's go back top. Do you, do you see this guy? What what is he doing? I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> I don't know what the purpose is of like trying to kill Orn when he has so much armor and stuff. I don't know. Anyways, uh, yeah. I swear to God, okay, I swear to God, this game gets better, okay, after I start, I, after I get my items, alright, Warwick, or Yorick, fruh, Warwick and then Yorick, uh, Urgot, sorry, they all sent, they all, they all have, like, very similar names, okay, uh, Urgot starts to become, like, a crazy powerhouse that a lot of people don't expect to do so much damage, or is, like, tanky, you know, like, hard to kill. Uh, especially with the E, so uh, I don't know if I can look at skill order. But basically, uh, I start E, go W, or start E, go Q, in case it's one of those matchups, with a little bit of range. Um, yum. Uh, in case it's ranged or something. Then I put another point in E, because putting another point in W just increases like the the cooldown and stuff and it's whatever i put another point in e uh for safety it's a safety thing uh and then i max w so i max w first then e then q q really is to use to like mark targets um when you hit someone and then activate w it'll t it'll go for the targeted person uh that's that's the only reason you get q other than for the slow uh you wouldn't max it. I think before you used to max it, but uh, I think they changed the scaling or something. I, I don't know. Something happened that like it changed. But here we go. Go for a TP bot lane. Shaco uh, go gets the kill on Ezreal, and then we're just kind of whittling down this Orn. Uh, sort of a counter gank. Here Yasuo is just kind of hard tanking me uh for whatever reason he didn't like dash through or something i don't know what he was thinking uh but he just sort of kind of died like that very unfortunately uh nico was an interesting player as well uh <laughs> i think that's all i really need to say is that they were very interesting to play with uh, Echo full sends it, goes for the ash, as you do, and then, uh, oh, I completely whiff my ult, but, yeah, he goes down, he dies. I kind of blow flash and ult, but if you think about it, I flashed and ulted and got the Echo, so I guess it, it might as well have hit him, right? It, it, it was the same thing. 
Uh, this Ezreal is getting on my, my nerves, but so is this Yasuo. I don't know what was up with this Yasuo, but he I just I just get to whittle at them. I, I, I was just here to zone, though. I'm not trying to actually fight. If they went on me, I'd try to disengage or try to full turn it with Nami. But, yeah. At this point, we have our Iron Spike Whip with our Titanic Hydra. Uh, we're not too farmed. We're, we're farming, right? We're, we're, we're doing it. But uh, we clear waves pretty fast with just blasting away, right? Iron Spike Whip helps us with that if we really need it. Uh, normally we don't. We just kind of do things. Yeah, Orn is uh, getting a little too close uh, for, you know, Urgot. I don't know why he was so close, uh, but he took a lot of damage there. The flip is really, really crazy. Um, it, it, like, one thing to to know on Urga is to like when to use your E, you know? Because your E can cancel uh, a lot of CC. Is it like disjoints or whatever? Yeah, we get a double there. We just kind of snipe the Echo, get the Yasuo, call it a day. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. What, what What is there to say here? I don't know, I've just been enjoying Urga. I think he's really funny. And that, I think that's the majority of my champion pool, or like things that I pick up to play, uh, is that I'm all about like being annoying. <laughs> you know, Singed, Garen, Alawi, Corky, uh, Urga, right? Nico support with the, with the three second, 2.5 second snare. Alright, Bard, that was a while ago, back when I played a lot of support. Um, Malzahar mid, Udyr top. Like, it's like, it's not off meta or anything, it's just that like, it's not as played. Obviously Urga is still pretty played now, right? He's still pretty popular. Uh, compared to like Yorick, right? That I was playing before. Which I, I still need to do the montage. I, I have a bunch of York clips. I have like 30 or 40 York clips that are just sitting around. And uh, I can make them into a montage. So I gotta do that. I gotta get on that. Uh, yeah. Stuff, you know, stuff. Lots of stuff to do. I had a lot of homework this last week. For no reason at all. Yeah, let's speed this up. Um, we're just kind of doing Urgot things. Here's a fight breaking out mid. Go in, flip the echo, bam, bam, bam. We're just a moving turret, all right? We're still in it. Get tapped by Orn, but they're not gonna focus me. Echo's gonna die to the AOE from the Titanic. We're very low, we're gonna E, all right? I'm gonna land that, and we clear them out. Good ace. I think it was played pretty well by me. Um, maybe I could have been not in so far. Uh, I was trying to stand on top of Ash, right? Or at least get close because I know that she's gonna be able to like slow them and whatever, right? I think it was a solid thing. Uh, maybe could have probably would have been better if I used my ult early. I think using your ult early at least to like do a little bit of damage plus slow. And then have them back up because like it's too dangerous to like possibly be AOE feared by like Urgot. Right? I think it's good to zone. You don't always have to kill someone with it. You can just like throw it out and then like they get scared. Right? It's a, it's the same thing with uh Blitzcrank. Blitzcrank W. Uh you can use it in lane, right? Just activate W and people will back off. Because they think you're going in, right? It's like Echo W or anything that, that indicates that someone's going in, you use it. There I am, middle of three people. Uh, Yasuo does not do a whole lot of damage to me, so I just get, I just kind of, there it is. And then Ezreal, Ezreal kind of dodges away. Um, I think Shaco or someone got caught here. 
I'm not sure why they were here, because there was nothing other than maybe a ward. I don't know why they're here, but I, I basically just died. I uh, got, a, got a kill, but I died, which is not, not something you want to do, ever. All right. If you, one, one important thing is to reduce your deaths on League of Legends. Uh, if you're not dead, that means you're either getting gold from minions, you're getting XP from minions or doing something, or you're, uh, you're pushing or you're doing, you're literally doing something that'll always help if you're alive. But if you're dead, you, you just sit there, right? It's not fun to play the game when you don't play the game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I ditched the top wave uh, to normally, like, I'd be greedy, go for the top wave, but since I don't have TP, I just walk all the way to Dragon, uh, just in case there's a fight. Alright, here I am, slide in with Stridebreaker, flip the Yasuo, I'm in the middle of everything. Alright, I flash away, because I'm like, okay, they're being spooky, and then I get flashed on by Echo and die. Uh... I don't know what was going on with my team. This this Nico was really toxic, by the way. I, I don't know if I have the recording somewhere, but they were really toxic. They were typing a lot. Uh, they were being very, very annoying. And uh, Nami was too. Nami was drunk. I remember this. I think I took a screenshot somewhere. But uh, essentially, Nami came into the game saying, Oh yeah, I'm, I, I've been drinking for eight hours, so if, uh, if I play bad or something, uh, uh, you know, that sort of thing. And I was like, oh god. Oh god, it's going to be one of these games, huh? Um, and it kind of was for the first, you know, what, at what point is this? We're 30 to 26, which isn't too bad. Um, Shaco's died a few dumb times. Nico's dumb, like, died a few dumb times. And I was like, dude, can you just relax? Just play the game. You know, this is winnable. All right. Not, this isn't a lost game. Some games are lost, but this is definitely not one. Right. And uh, I don't know. I, 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 I was tilt proof. Okay. I'm tilt proof. Uh, I'll, I'll complain in a video. Right. Oh, God. I hate Aatrox. Oh, God. I, 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 right. But I won't do any of that in game. I'll, I'll try to play through it. Uh, Generally, I think maybe one out of like 20 games of like tilt tilt fests, I'll, I'll lose it. Okay, lose it as in like I'll just stop caring, or like I'll just be like, man, can we just go next? <laughs> that sort of thing. But I won't. I won't like, you know, I'm I'm not that kind of. I'm not like hyper tilty. I th I think maybe I am. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of like a requirement for uh for top lane to. Like, not be so easily tilted just because it's kind of like it's one of those lanes where it's like really punishing. If you tilt, you, you'll just like lose the game, you know? Uh, here we are, just going after this Yasuo. Uh, for whatever reason, Shaco's running around. I don't know what that's about. He was baiting, but like, good lord, kind of cutting it close. Uh, here it looks like we disconnect. I, I don't know. I don't. Th that's what it felt like when both people stand still at the same time. Uh, I've both like you disconnect, right? Like the people around you are disconnected or whatever. Uh, sadly, Orn flashes away. Uh, I didn't have ult at that time either, and I just sort of die, which is really unfortunate. I got greedy. I did. I got too greedy, and uh, I, I was punished for it, rightfully so. Yep. But yeah, at this point I have 11 kills, most kills uh, on my team and in the game. Uh, Orn has 10 kills as well, which is something. Uh, yeah, Drunk Nami, dying mid, alone. Uh, there's no ward or anything. Like, I don't know what she was doing. But uh, at a certain point, I think Nico was just typing paragraphs. And I was like, bro... <laughs> They were like typing to each other. One was just a drunk dude just like bantering. The other dude was like actually like so angry. Um, also, answer for uh, me standing still here. It's because I went to the restroom. Uh, I went to floss. Because for whatever reason, my, uh, my retainer is like 
a different shape now so i have like more space in between like my back two molars on the left top side and like stuff gets stuck like every single time i eat now it's it sucks so i just have to floss a lot which is which is like kind of good that's kind of a good thing uh but yeah here we go um immediately just destroy the echo he gets stunned up by ash we're gonna get bumped away by alistar alistar is just trying to get out he's gonna get flipped get ulted by ergot which is me we're gonna fear orn we're gonna slide in with stride breaker we're getting hit by things but it does not matter because we are ergot we're gonna go in flip the yasuo two tap Ezreal's trying to escape. I dodge the Q there just in case, and then we melt him. That's it. That was the team fight. All right, that was the that was just the straight team fight. Hard ace. Okay, I think someone died. Maybe someone died somewhere. But uh, we just roll them like crazy. Echo throws it so so hard by going in and immediately getting stunned and then dying. Uh, yeah. Uh, staying here is not a great idea because they're all spawning all at once and alistar is a very strong support um if you're playing support i recommend trying to learn him at least basics uh just so you can you know do a little bit flip er flip the echo echo immediately gets like three shot by shotgun knees right and now we slowly catch them right very good QSS by uh, the Yasuo there, but it's not going to be enough. He's going to die to Shaco. I get another, tr I get a triple kill here, All right? And uh, that's the end of the game. That's literally it. it. Was two team fights. The 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 game was at basically a standstill for the longest time, and then there was two team fights where we both won both, and uh, and then pulled through. But yeah, I thought it was a, this was just a really good game to like showcase. I don't know. I, I played like so bad. I, I'm I'm really bad with early game now. I don't know what it is, but my early game now is like really really piss. <laughs> I'll be honest, it's really piss. So that's something I need to work on. But yeah, I thought it was it was just a good thing to like upload or something. You know? Yeah. XQC is still streaming. He's uh, He's been live for 13 hours. His last stream was 13 hours. The one before that was like 25. This man's going to die before 30. It's a little crazy. Uh, I hope he takes care of himself better. I know he barely sleeps. Like his like his body does not sleep. He just he just keeps going. He man's a grinder and that's very like that's something you can respect. Uh yeah, anyways, League of Legends, wow, fun, fun times sometimes. Yeah, I just had a game, look at this, I just had this really, really bad game. Oh my goodness. Uh, ADC gave up like two minutes in or something, I think they died, they got first blooded or something like that, and uh, they just kept going, they just kept dying, and it, was, it, was, it, it kind of sucks when um, Yasuo yeah, so doesn't do damage to anyone. When your ADC is trolling, when your your Zach is first timing Zach, I don't know. They would land Q on Zach, right? And they wouldn't auto. All you need to do is auto and it pulls them in. But he he wouldn't do that. And that was just really yeah. Anyways, I played badly too. I, I did okay. But sometimes you just have these like really bad games, which you know what? Just take a break, dude. Go go play on a Smurf, go Go watch some Netflix. Go outside and touch grass. Don't eat it, though. I don't think you're supposed to eat grass. Um, you're not like a dog or anything. Where uh, eating grass like helps like stir up your your like digestive system so you can like unconstipate yourself. I know that's like a thing that cats and dogs do uh, for eating grass because it's like good for their stomach or something. There's like enzymes. I don't know. Anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, peace out. Uh, let me know if you want to see more Urgot gameplay or PBE gameplay or, I don't know, games other than League. I don't know. 
I'm awful at Hearthstone. Don't ask for Hearthstone. I'll play some solo adventure though. I have a I have an upload from a while ago of me speed running one of the solo adventures for 30 minutes. I'm like number 11th for the the category there for 30 minutes. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Peace out. Much love, and I'll see you guys around.